Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today we are going to discuss the Bloom's Digital Taxonomy. Let's have a look of Bloom's Taxonomy itself. Bloom's Taxonomy is a hierarchical model that categorizes learning objective into varying levels of complexity from basic knowledge and comprehension to advanced evaluation and creation. Bloom's Taxonomy was originally published in 1956 and the taxonomy was modified each year for 16 years after it was first published. Bloom's taxonomy comprises three learning domains, cognitive, affective and psychomotor. Within each domain, learning can take place at a number of levels ranging from simple to complex. In 2001, Bloom's initial taxonomy was revised to reflect how learning in an active process and not a passive one. Although Bloom's taxonomy is met with several valid criticism, it is still widely used in the educational setting today. Let's talk about Bloom's Digital Taxonomy. Bloom's Digital Taxonomy deals with how we can integrate the revised Bloom's Taxonomy with technology. It focuses on the quality of the process and product. The advantage is that the user is in control. This can also be thought of as the process of students creating a personal learning environment. Let's see how the best teachers using Bloom's Taxonomy in hybrid and online classes. Stage number one. Usually teachers use this stage as a good starter or plenary for online and hybrid classes. For example, recognizing the upfront picture, retrieving information from the website, identifying the organs from given online source, highlighting important points from an online article, social networking, social bookmarking, searching something from net or even googling some time. Stage number two. It is very effective in daily student tasks. For example, interpreting the theory from wiki, summarizing the online paragraph, classifying objects with the help of online options, comparing two animations, explaining a simulation, advanced searching with particular option from internet, boolean searches, blog journaling, twittering, tagging, commenting on social media, annotating and subscribing etc. Stage number three. This stage is used to assign higher order online tasks such as using terminology from online dictionary, running online programs, loading and playing online quizzes, operating virtual labs for sciences, sharing documents with colleagues, editing the web page, presentation or peer work and even hacking. Stage number four. This level is an ideal to assess a student's progress at certain stages. For example, comparing the websites, organizing online mind map, attributing, outlining research articles, finding online solutions, ICT integration in artistic work, validating online links, reverse engineering, cracking codes or even media clipping. Stage number five. This level is ideal to support collaboration among students and encouraging teamwork along with the assessment, critiquing of peer online assignments, judging the best business blog, collaborating on online spreadsheets, networking with peers for common tasks, testing peer experiments and even blog commenting. Stage number six. This stage is a platform to test creativity of the students, such as design a digital poster, construction of a web page, producing a web episode, inventing a way to find out a solution, designing a software, making something online, programming with codes, filming, animating, creating a blog, vlogging, audio mixing and remixing, publishing an article, video casting about economics, podcasting for English language, directing a drama and even broadcasting. You can see some new digital verbs of Bloom's taxonomy on the screen. I will share more verbs in the description of the video. And now on your screen, you can see some platforms which you can use in the classes to implement the Bloom's digital taxonomy. So thank you very much for your listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Goodbye.